Hello everyone, welcome back to Coding Zone. My name is Andrew Mwangi, a student from Smart Brains Kenya. In today's episode, we are going to finish creating our website by adding a play button and we are going to dive into the world of game development. Keep your questions and comments coming in through the SMS line 21144 and at GBS TV Africa across all our social media platforms. Let's dive right in. Let's start by recapping what we did last time. Last time we learned how to insert images and a video onto our website. And we all, in our website we also added a registration form and last time we also learned what CSS is. CSS is simply a way of styling our website. Today we are going to be adding a play button. To add a button, you will come to your coding site and just type the word button. Now what will we call this button? We'll call it play because when we click our button, it will take us to our game. Now we have successfully created our play button. But now when we click it, nothing happens because we have not coded where it should take us. But first, let's start by understanding what Scratch is. Scratch is a high level programming language that helps people by dragging and dropping blocks onto a coding space. Now this is how a simple Scratch page looks like. Scratch is divided into three parts. There is the coding where you will see all these blocks which you can drag and drop. There is the coding space and there is the stage. The stage is where we will see everything that happens or everything that we code on our coding space. Now let's start by understanding what are these circles with words under them. We can see motion, looks, sounds, events, control, sensing, operations, variables, and my blocks. Those are eight in total. What do they do? Motion is simply anything that moves around on your screen. For example, in our ping pong game, we will need, we will need a ball. We will be needing a ball. So now all the motion blocks that we can see here are move 10 steps, turn 15 degrees, go to a specific position. We could glide to different positions. We could point our ball in a certain direction or we could change the X by 10 or we can set X to a certain position and if on edge, bounce. Looks is simply anything that you will see on your screen. For example, we could make our ball say hello for two seconds. Or we could make our ball think hmm for two seconds. Or we could switch costumes. Like if we come and click here, next costume, it just keeps switching the color. For example, blue, then purple, then green. Then, yes. And switching backdrop is just changing the backdrop. For example, right now our backdrop is just a white screen on our stage. So we could add more backdrops like baseball true. We can add um, this. We could add bedroom one. Then we can add Arctic. Now when we click next costume, it's white, then it changes to baseball too, then bedroom, then the Arctic. Change color is simply to change how the ball looks. Here we could change graphic effects. It's not just color, we could change fish eye. Let's add a more efficient sprite like the cut to test this out. Our cut has appeared on our page. So to change its color effect, the fish eye effect, it makes it look more bulged. We can clear the graphic effects. We can change the wall effect by 25. It makes it look like it's spinning very quickly. We could also change the, we could pixelate it. 
like this. It looks like it's shaping into a pixel. We could also Moisak. Moisak is like multiplying it so that you can see smaller, more versions. C clear the graphical effect and we can change the brightness. The brighter we get, the less visible it becomes. And we could also ghost effect. Ghost effect makes it look like it's disappearing slowly but surely. We could also show and hide this sprite. And we could also ch go make it look in the front layer or back layer. Sound is anything that we could hear. For example, we can play the sound meow. We can start sound meow. We could stop all sounds. We could change the effect of a sound or even change the volume. Events is when exactly this code should happen. For example, the code should happen when flag is clicked or when space key is pressed or when this sprite is clicked or when backdrop switches or when we broadcast a message or when a sprite receives a broadcasted message. For example, we could make a simple code. For example, the, the cut when flag is clicked, it should say hello for two seconds. And then we could add, it should think, hmm. It could ask, not hmm, but it can ask, how are you for two seconds? So here we have coded, hello, how are you? That's what we have coded. A control is simply like manipulating your sprites. For example, something could happen when we wait one second or we could repeat a code 10 times forever. If something happens, then something happens. Or if something happens, then something happens else. Something else should happen. And we could stop all or create a clone. Sensing is simply like sensing the cut. For example, we could put the cut there on the ball and then say, come to control. If, when flag is clicked, if it touches, if touches this color, if, if touching, no, if touching the ball, it then it should say hello and from motion we could say glide one second to random position now we can put all this code in a forever loop glide one second when it touching the ball it should say hello for two seconds See, the cart has touched the ball and it says hello. Operations is simply addition, subtraction, multiplication or division or we could join two things. And a variable is a place where you can store information. For example, in our ping pong game, we will be creating a variable which we will call score. And when the paddle hits the ball, it should change score by one. On this end of this scratch page, we can see this panel down here. Here we could actually change the name of our, our sprite. Let's call it, let's, we can call our sprite Molly. And we could manually show and hide the sprite. Here we could also change the size of the sprite. For example, we could change size to 50. We could change it to, let's say, 530. Yes, and so on. Here, direction, we could show how it points, in which direction it points. So when we click on it, we see this wheel, which we can turn. And you can see that the sprite is also turning with the wheel. Here, where you can see X, why? This is simply the position of our sprite. So now if we try changing this position, 
the position of our sprite it will move to a different position that's all for today friends thank you for remaining with us up to this moment don't forget to send us your comments and feedback via our sms line to double one double four and at gbs tv africa across all our social media platforms my name is andrew mwangi a student from smart brains kenya and until next time keep it safe and keep it locked keep imagining and keep creating with scratch bye bye everyone <laughs>